Okay, good evening. Hello. Hi. Are you guys ready? Hi, good night, everyone. Okay, good evening. Okay, are you ready? Good evening. Yep. Yeah, we're ready. We, we're ready. Okay, good. Okay, very good. So, what are we going to see today? Uh, we're going to use uh, clauses with it and when. It and when. Vamos a unir esas dos palabras. How? For example, when you say, um, I really hate it when people drive very, very slow. Okay, do you hear? Yes. I really hate it. Y después viene la palabra, I really hate it when. I really hate it when people drive very slow. Okay? Example. Okay? I really love it. I love it when my wife cooks for me. Yes. Okay? I really like it when people remember my birthday. Y así vamos a usar, ok? Vamos, vamos a usar esa, esa, eh, esa estructura. So, en el chat le voy a poner, uh, I really hate it when people drive very slow. Ok? So, esa es la estructura que vamos a usar ahorita. Eh, are you ready for the video? Let's watch the video for the platform. Okay. ¿Quién lo vio ya? Um, ¿Quién vio el, el video sobre esta lección? Ok, Fernando ya lo vio. Excelente. Ok, very good. So, uh, perdón, en la sección 1. Ok, clauses with it and when. Let's check it. Let's check out this video. Let's pay attention to this video. Algunos ya lo vieron, pero otras personas no todavía. So vamos a para estar en la misma página todos. Hello, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to express likes and dislikes. And you'll also learn how to express neutral things. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. So let's say, for example, you want to express things that you like. Um, I'm going to use an analogy of a birthday, right? So a uh, quick example. I like it when my friends give me gifts for my birthday. I don't like it when my friends forget about my birthday. There, I just express the likes and dislikes, and I also want to be neutral about certain things. So, in order to do that, I'm going to use expressions such as, I don't mind it when my friends arrive late to a party. Hmm. So, let's do the following. First, the first thing that we should learn or that we should become familiar with is vocabulary. Okay. Uh, and so, let me do just that. Let me just present this quick vocabulary. If you notice, I've highlighted in yellow the positive. So for things that you like, you'll use expressions such as, I like it, I love it. When you're neutral about something, you'll use expressions such as, I don't mind it. And when you want to express things that you don't like, then in that case, you'll use expressions such as, I don't like it, I can't stand it, I hate it. So let me just quickly present the structure and how to formulate this kind of complex sentences. So when we say clauses with it and then we say clauses with when, well really what we're saying is that we want to express things that we like, that we don't like, or that we're neutral about at any given situation. 
So let me just present the structure here. What we want to do is we want to use clauses with it and then adverbial clauses with when. Uh, and we do this in order to express the things that we like, the things that we don't like, or the things that we might be neutral about. So as I mentioned at the beginning, we ha I had a, a couple of examples for you. I'll just continue on with making more examples. So, so what kind of things do you like? Well. Um, in order to formulate this sentence, to express that idea, we're going to have a subject. In this case, I'm just going to say I. The subject could be any other subject, by the way. Um, I use a verb such as like, so I say I like it, and that's my clause with it. And then uh, the next part, it continues with when. This is the situation, um, when. All right, so let me just make that quick sentence there. So I like it when someone gives me a compliment. This is something that I like. As you can see, we have the first part of the sentence is the subject plus the verb and it. I like it. And then the second part of that sentence is when someone gives me a compliment. If we quickly look at our vocabulary here, I could say this could be, now the, the idea about this is that this could be something that is true for you, this could be something that is not true for you. So we want to express the things that you like, things that you don't like, things that you might be neutral about. So I could use this vocabulary here. So I could easily say, I like it, such as the example here. I like it when someone gives me a compliment. Um, or I could say, I love it. So I'll, I could change the verb. I could change something else there. I could say, I love it when someone gives me a compliment. Um, at the same time, I could also be neutral about it. I could say, I don't mind it. All right. Okay. I don't mind it when someone gives me a compliment. Uh, and then again, you might be shy and you probably don't like it, right? So you might uh, have a negative point of view about that situation, and you might say, "I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it when someone gives me a compliment." And that's how you formulate this kind of uh, sentences. Um, again, you could be neutral about the whole situation. You could uh, you could um, uh, be positive about it, so you could like it, or you could love it, um, and um, at the same time, something could make you upset, right? Okay, very good. Pardon. Do you remember the picture that I sent you this morning? Yes. Ah, uh, uh, no, it's not that one. Ah, aquí está. The one that I sent you this morning, okay, it said, I like it. Positive. I love it. Positive. Now, what is the difference between like and love? One is stronger, right? One is more intense, okay? Then you can be neutral. And that is just, eh, it's like whatever, you know? Or you can be negative. You can say, I don't like it. I can't stand it. Or maybe you can say, I hate it. Y la intensidad va de menos a más fuerte. I don't like it. I can't stand it. Me cae mal. And then I hate it. That means odio. Like, odio esa cosa. All right, very good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to groups and you're going to share this information with someone. You have to complete the sentence, okay? So, pusieron atención cómo completar la estructura en el video? Yes. Yes? yes. Okay. Yes. You say, I don't like it when, and then you finish the sentence, okay? So, eh, vayan a, a WhatsApp para poder usar esta, esta referencia. And let's go to groups, and we're going to share that information. So. Cada uno tiene que llenar todo eso, es decir, dar un ejemplo, okay, in a sentence, about each one, okay? And then you can share. Um, pueden ir, por ejemplo, si son tres, eh, vaya, vamos los tres a hablar de nuestros likes. Y después vamos a hablar de neutral y después vamos a hablar los tres de negative, okay? So pueden hacerlo así. All right, very good. Let's go to groups.
I guess that we can share the picture in this moment uh, to be easiest to be easier to do uh, exercise. Share the screen. Okay. Okay. It's here. Yes. Oh, um, you are going to start first. Okay, that's great. Uh, how do you want? When my wife kissed me, uh, when I go to, uh, to, when I went to my work. Okay. Uh, um, that's for an example. Uh, Neptra would be. I don't mind. I don't mind it when the people are are uh, talking about me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> about me. <laughs> um, wants to give me a compliment. Um, I can stand it when people talk too much. Okay, in a case I say that I like it when someone says the truth. Um, I love it when I bring my favorite food, my favorite, my favorite, well, when I drink my favorite juice and new, and I don't mind it. Well, I have a question. I am not sure about the, the mean about this word. I don't mind it, no me imagino. No, es como, no me importa, o sea. Ah. O sea, no me molesta. Ah, como, okay. como cuando decís, como cuando te preguntan, ¿querés qué? ¿Querés pizza o querés Agua o café, ajá. ajá. No, no ah, importa. Chale. Cualquiera, no importa. Thank you for the help. Then, I can say, um, well, the next, I don't like it when someone say a lot of jokes and I hate, I hate it when someone um, forget things or forget important dates. Okay. Okay, perfect. Well, um, I like it when someone brings me a gift. And okay, this, it's your turn, Eric. In my case, I don't mind when I call someone else and does not answer it. But in case it's not too necessary, it's... I don't, I don't mind it when my dog uh, barks. Did you okay. hear me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready for Gladys. <laughs> when you're dog. Yeah. I don't yeah. mind it. Um, can I, yeah. I like it when I can eat uh, all the things that I want to eat. And I don't mind when... I don't mind. I don't have ideas right now. <laughs> I let me see. I don't mind if other people want to speak. <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> okay, very good, Gladys. I don't mind. It's like um, no me molesta. 
just like to say yeah. something. Uh, for example, I don't mind. Uh, it's like it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's it doesn't important matter for me. Mm -hmm. It's not important for me. Uh, no, okay. le veo, no le veo, no le veo, no le saco gran problema. Like it's not a big deal. Okay. You also have to use it, right? I don't mind it. Yeah, I don't mind it. Okay. I don't mind it when people talk about me, for example. Okay. Okay, okay. very good. Good job. Okay. In the negative? In the negatives? Uh huh. <laughs> Wait. It. <laughs> it's Alex Stern. Uh, maybe it could be I hate it when weather is used about the other uh, example. I'm going to share you again the example of the teacher. And now, reading and when. Do you want to use the example with, with, with it? Or just uh, going to do other examples to with when? Uh, I don't know if Andy, uh, it's it's going to to speak and and Andy, and Andy, Ch Andy Ch is, uh, say on the chat that he is having problem with the Ethernet. And okay, okay. It's going to be. Can you uh, repeat me, Ava? Ah, do you like do uh, an okay. samples with me? Mm -hmm. I'm going to say you an other example, and you're going to say me again other examples okay. about that. And it's better because we're going to know. Okay. It. Okay. Okay. I like. It's not so good. Yeah. It failed uh, uh, several times in the day. I call to the Kibo. If for the weather. I don't think it's everything for the weather. <laughs> Tigo has a bad <laughs> quality sign. <laughs> yes. I really it's don't bad. like Tigo. I prefer <laughs> Claro. You should change. Uh, I really think about it. But mm. by now, I think, I, I don't think it's going to be think possible. That, I think that the Claro is better than another company in my house. I have experience with Claro and it was very good signal. It was a oh. very good signal. Yes, I I don't really have um, problems in all time that we use uh, their service, their services. The Tigo, uh, I, I got two months mm -hmm. uh, that I use in uh, Internet of Tigo and I really don't like it. I really don't like it. I don't know if because uh, it's the uh, 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 a lot of, of repeaters in the building uh, or I don't know if it's a problem of, of, of their, their sign, their, their sign now. <laughs> right? But oh. I really don't like Tigo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, the teacher says that we are going to return to the big group. Okay, thank you for being my partner tonight. <laughs> so I joined with you because I, I'm working right now. And okay, you, okay, I we're back. All right, ya regresamos a la sesión. Pablo. Yeah, hi. Eh, ¿Puedes apagar tu micrófono? Tienes mucha bulla ahí. Okay, very good.
Thank you, thank you. Okay. Uh, we're back. Ya estamos en la sesión otra vez acá. Okay. All right, very good. Now, uh, I want to do another activity. Les di bastante tiempo para que ustedes hablaran. That's very important that you practice, that you speak in this time, okay? Because uh, you, your, your best resource that you have is you, your partner. That's the best resource that you have. Okay, I want to do another speaking activity with you, but uh, I want to share my computer, okay? Eh, le voy a dejar de tarea lo que sigue en la sección 1. Eh, Lo que sigue en la sección 1, eh, ya hicimos perdón, la 1. Ahorita hicimos add, uh, clauses with it. Eh, queda knowledge check. Ok. El knowledge check. It's a, it's a little, a little difficult, but if you want to, um, let me show it to you. Okay. Um, here, for example, uh, how do you feel about these about these situations? It says write your own response based on the vocabulary given. Okay. Uh, this here, um, I think you can write. Mm, no veo el espacio, voy a preguntar, pero no veo el espacio donde ustedes pueden escribir acerca de estas. Eh, no sé si está en la sección que sigue, pero sí. no creo. Sí. The, the square o the rectangle on, on, the, on the, la que está abajo, ese pequeño rectángulo supuestamente donde se escribe. Ah, pero eh, pensé que era... Eh, correspondiente a, a las preguntas que estaban ahí. Sí, de, ese, ese cortito es y por, por eso por lo menos ahora pues, when I respond to some uh -huh. of these questions uh -huh. I have some problems but because uh -huh. I guess that is the correct answer yeah. but I'm going to share you but is yeah. that short, short uh, rectangle is? Uh -huh. right. te, te voy a decir lo que yo tengo aquí <laughs> lo que tengo es Varias opciones. For example, how do you feel about these situations? How do you feel about when someone gives me a compliment on my clothes? Um, I love it when someone gives me a compliment on my clothes. ¿Qué es lo que acabamos de usar, uh, usar mm -hmm. ahorita? I really like it. I love it. I hate it when. So basically, es usar lo que acabamos de usar ahorita, el clause que acabamos de usar, que es el uso de it and then when. So you can do it, ok, hay varias opciones. Eh, y como ven aquí las respuestas, hay un gran montón de combinaciones. <ríe> All right, escriban la que, la que ustedes quieran con el clause. I like it when, I hate it when, ok, so remember that. Um, so finish that. Then you have a video here. This video is a reading exercise, okay? Se lo dejo de tarea. Just a reading exercise about apps, about applications. And then you have questions in Knowledge Check 1.13. You can um, answer the questions about the article, okay? Eh, so, bien fácil, ustedes lo pueden hacer eh, su tiempo. Eh, I want to go to the next exercise because um, it's talking about personalities, uh, 2.1 is talking about personalities. Uh, let's see, ¿cuánto tiempo tengo? 30 minutes, all right, we have time. We're going to watch this video, okay? It's going to give you vocabulary for personality types. Pay attention to the vocabulary, and if you want, I have a note así rapidito del vocabulary for you. For example, it's going to talk about different personalities. Y si encaja con ustedes esa personality, entonces hagan una, una nota allí. Eh, a mental note. Uh, for example, because this is what we're going to do. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio así. Vamos a usar un cuadro así como este. Okay? And you're going to describe your personality type. 
Tell me about yourself, your personality types. So, eh, pueden que, for example, I am creative. Okay. Also, I am, uh, I am easygoing. Okay. Whatever. Okay. So, I want you to watch the video. And then, este cuadrito se lo voy a mandar por WhatsApp. Okay. Y vamos a llenar este cuadrito. Vamos a usar la linking words. Um, yesterday, somebody asked me, teacher, how do I use, how do I have more fluency? How can I increase fluency? You have to use linking words. That's one way of increasing uh, fluency. Okay, so you can use linking words and that's going to help you flow. Uh, the question is, tell me about yourself. Así como una entrevista de trabajo. Tell me about yourself, okay? You're going to use the the vocabulary. So let's let's watch the video and let's take note of some of the vocabulary that we have here. Hold on. Okay. I'm Jamie Fish. Some students arrive on campus with clear career ambitions, but most students need some help figuring out which field of study is right for them. The good news is, help is available. I'm here with Jacqueline Auden, a career advisor from the Career Services Department here on campus. Ms. Auden, you've advised a lot of students over the years about choosing a major and a career path. What should students consider? Well, Jamie, one of the first things to consider is your personality type. Well, along with your skills, abilities, and personal preferences, your personality type can guide you toward finding a major that best suits you. Okay. So how many personality types are there? Uh, there are six basic personality types. Hmm. Artistic, conventional, enterprising, investigative, realistic, and social. Now, the first type is artistic. These people are creative and imaginative, and they prefer to work on one project at a time rather than multitasking. What careers should artistic types pursue? The most important thing for this type of people is being in charge of a creative project. So careers to consider are landscaping, graphic design, web design. I see. The next personality type is conventional. Tell us about that one. Yes, conventional types are practical and orderly. They respond well to rules, procedures, schedules, things like that. Hmm. What types of careers do conventional type people usually enjoy? Conventional types often enjoy numbers, and they're also good with measuring and analyzing things in general. So often they tend to be bankers, lawyers, building inspectors, and technical writers. Are they good business people? Sure, they can be. But they usually work for others. The next type, enterprising people, those are the business owners. Ah, the enterprising type. What characteristics do those people share? They tend to be leaders. They're independent and willing to take risks. They're good at motivating people, so we often find them in sales. Really? Hmm. What careers do they enjoy, aside from sales? Well, they're good at directing projects and people. So they make good managers. Okay, so that's three types. Let's take a look at the fourth type, investigative. Well, this type of person prefers logic to imagination and tends to be precise and detailed. So Jamie, what are some careers that you think would suit this type of person? Hmm. Science would probably be appealing. You're right. Uncovering mysteries is key to any type of science. But librarians are also the investigative type. Really, any career that involves research fits into this category. Hmm. So that brings us up to the fifth type, realistic. Yes, realistic types like to work with their hands, with tools. They want to see the results of their work in physical terms. Hmm. That sounds like repair people to me. Yes, that's right. Also jewelry makers, builders, and engineers. So now for the sixth personality type, which is the one that describes me best. Yes, I think you're right. The last type is social. 
Social types like people. Their jobs usually involve helping and communicating with others. Oh, but teaching would appeal to social types. Oh, yes. Medicine, coaching, broadcast journalism, and, of course, career advising. That's us, social types. Ms. Alden, thank you for sharing this information with us. It was my pleasure, Jamie. Well, we hope this information has been helpful to you. Now. Okay, very good. Me pueden escuchar, sí, va? Okay. Yes. Very good. I, I think it was a good video. A lot of good information Holistic in this video. And, social. and a, a lot of vocabulary that we can learn from this video. Okay. Now, el nivel de ustedes es ya avanzado, pre avanzado, pero ya es un nivel. Y el vocabulario que ustedes van a manejar es un poquito más avanzado. Okay. Uh, especially for this program. This program here is English for Work program. Okay. Um, so, did you hear uh, the explanations about the six personality types? Number yes. one. Yes. For example, number one is the artistic personality. ¿Qué se acuerdan de eso? What do you remember? The video. They were creative and imaginative. Imaginative. Yes, creative people. Very good. Very good. What's a good job for them? Landscaping. Yes, landscaping. Design. Landscaping. Very good. Very good. Say, alguien más? Somebody say Graphic something? design. Graphic designing. Okay, great. Um, so, uh, number two, conventional people. What is uh, this type of people? They were practical. Practical, uh-huh. What else do you remember? Numbers. A person that can do in numbers. Yes, very good. And also measuring, people that are good with measurements. Uh, what's a good job for these people? Banking. 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 Yes, very good. Good job, banking. Um, also, dijeron que también lawyers are good for this for this type of uh, jobs. Uh, number three, enterprise type. What is that? Enterprising. Leaders. Leaders. What else? Dependent. Independent people. Motivators. Motivadores. Motivators. Okay. They're good with what type of jobs? They are managers. business owners. Business owners, managers, store owners, uh, small, small businesses owners. Very good. Number four, investigative. Investigative. Logical. Logical. Again, logical. Very good. For example, uh, careers. Something about science. 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 Excellent. Good job. Science. And then number five, realistic type. The realistic type. What are these people good for? Is when somebody is good to work with their hands, with their hands. Yes. In so may generally. generally. Yes, very good. Uh -huh. so, so this type of people, they like to work with their hands. Eh, no sé, les gusta ser creativos. Maybe they like to, um, eh, alguien que tal vez un mecánico, okay? Something like that. Um, they're good with, with the tools, with, with, with tools. And then finally, you have a uh, social type. Number six, social type. What, they like what do they you prefer to work with, with others. People. Yes, very good. They like to work with other people. They like people. to be with other people. Uh, they like helping. They like teaching. Yes. They, like, they like coaching. Okay. Very I think good. it's a combination of all the six personality types. ¿Cuál? La última? Yes. Okay, okay, yeah. So, the last one. very good. So, I think that all of us 
we have different, no, 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 no crean que solamente es una, ya solamente son uno ustedes, no. Actually, I am, for example, me, eh, number one, artistic landscaping. Um, yo tengo un diplomado en, en jardinería, en diseño de jardín, me encanta. Eh, what else? Um, number, eh, enterprise, enterprise. Yo he hecho, yo, yo inicié una, una empresita chiquita de jardinería, de, de mantenimiento y diseño de jardín. So I, I'm number three. Eh, realistic, realistic. I like to work with my hands. Eh, también tengo un, eh, un estudio en, en mecánica de motos. Um, and, 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 and social types. I like to be a teacher. I like helping people. So actually, I have like four of these. Okay? So, me imagino que ustedes también tienen dos o tres o cuatro de estas diferentes uh, personality types, okay? So, I, what we're going to do is remember this information. If you need to see the video again, we're going to see it, pero nos quedan 20 minutos. Y, y quiero, quiero invertir ese tiempo en, en hacer una actividad de speaking. So, uh, I'm going to give you this, pic, this, uh, this picture here, okay? Tell me about yourself, personality. All right, very good. Let me send this to you. Se lo voy a mandar por WhatsApp so that you can see it. This picture. Solo que lo hacen un poquito más pequeño. Okay. Uh, and what you're going to do basically, miren, pueden llenarlo, pero no, no nos va a dar suficiente tiempo para llenarlo. Entonces traten de simplemente hablar basándose en el cuadro. Now, if you see here, there's linking words. ¿Cómo uso las linking words? Puedo usar cualquiera de las linking words que está allí. El, voy a ir de acá, 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 acá. So, eh, este sería el 1, este sería el 2, este sería el 3, este sería el, para finalizar, 4. ¿Ok? Usen las linking words. When you're describing yourself, all right? Um, y eso les va a ayudar con la fluidez. Porque los linking words lo que hacen es unir esas ideas sin parar. All right, hold on. Ok, let's go to groups. ¿Alguien tiene una pregunta? ¿Question? Uh, ok, no, nothing. Never mind. Pablo had to go. Ok, so let's go to groups. You ready? Let's go to groups. Yes. Ok, eh, ba, eh, acabo de cometer un error. <ríe> eh, cerré el grupo de trabajo. Entonces, de, denme un segundito y después lo voy a poner de regreso en el mismo grupo, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. okay. Pero van a quedar en los mismos grupos, no se preocupen. All right, so don't this... worry, don't worry. <ríe> All right.
a tiny group. <laughs> mm. Okay, let's go to talk about you. How is your personality? Uh, tell me more about you. Okay, um, I'm going to describe myself. I I will I'll try. Um, first of all, um, I consider myself a conventional a person. A, well, using the 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 types the of uh, the video, the video. Yes, um, I consider myself uh, that I have a. Uh, my personality is conventional type because I'm practical. Um, really? Also, I am good in numbers. So because uh, I have studies in, I have a stud, I have a study uh, financials um, at the university. Um, I work, I work in a bank too. So. It, um, that's the reason why I like numbers. And I have, um, I am a realistic person because uh, I like work with my hands. And that's the reason why I like to fix my own car. And I make all the service myself. And, and Finally, I consider myself an uh, independent, uh, and so I think I have a little bit of enterprising type of personality. Myself, so the first one, I would say that I'm a little bit artistic, and uh, I heard that in the video they said that the this type of person does not focus i know is well focus on one project and does not like to be multitasking in my case uh i like to focus on one project and or one thing at a time maybe two but not not a lot of, like uh like for example social that for example, I can see my boss in my work, in my job. Uh, all the bosses, they are focusing on many things at the same time. So I, I'm not that one. And the second- I, I understand. Yep. And the second one should be uh, conventional, because I like to work for others. And I have work uh, and like that. I have hard like, a job like that, working for for others, especially when when uh, you when you help people. Uh, I like that. I'm very social too. Finally, I'm very social because I like in my work. I like to help people with things they don't know or if they're first time to do things, I like to help to, the, to do the best they can do. Okay. Great. Thank you. Wait a second, please. Okay. Andy, did you go already? Ya pasaste? Yes, it was the okay. first one. Okay. Sure. How do you pronounce the it's furthermore? Furthermore. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Furthermore. Do do you see what I'm doing? Eh, estoy poniendo las linking words, right? Eh, cada vez que, que yo voy a cambiar de idea. I use the linking words, and that's going to help you with fluency. Okay. And furthermore, you can use it in in what case? Like uh, I, I understand besides and thirdly, but furthermore, I furthermore, uh, cuando quieres agregarle algo a un pensamiento. 
It's like además in Spanish, right? Yes, mm -hmm. similar. Okay. Oh. Okay. What is besides? Uh, como decir adicionalmente. Okay. A la par de. de eso es lo que significa, literalmente. Okay. Um, my little description was, to begin with, I consider myself a conventional person. Mm -hmm. I like numbers and I currently work in a bank. Additionally, I love baking and make a lot of things with my hands. Mm -hmm. I like handcraft or doing makeups and that stuff. Okay. Va por la tercera, ¿no? Besides. Okay. Um, besides, I guess I can say that I like to work with other people and i i love working with in teams mm -hmm. and if i can i love to help um others to understand or teach something that i know very well okay That's and good. finally i guess that um I'm independent and I even own a business. Mm. Um, that's all. Okay, good job, good job. Okay, ya pasaron todos? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. So, um, what can you learn from this exercise? Well, first, uh, you know, Buena información en el video, definitely good vocabulary. Okay, now I wanted to help you with the thought organization, and you can always use this for any question. Okay, eh, podría adaptar este sistema a otras preguntas. Sí, ven. Um, for example, they tell me, um, eh, What do you like about your job? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué te gusta de tu trabajo? ¿Por qué no te gusta? <laughs> right? <laughs> tell me, or maybe someone would ask you, tell me about El Salvador. What can you tell me about El Salvador? And you can use the same system. Okay. You can use this. This esta es una herramienta para thought organization. Okay. And thought organization is going to help you with more fluency. Yo lo escucho and, and you sound fluent, right? Very good. ¿Alguien ha hecho una entrevista de trabajo en inglés? No. ¿Nunca han hecho una? No. No. Me, yes. Ah, ok. Good. Tell me. ¿Cómo te fue? <laughs> Did they ask, te preguntaron esto, ¿verdad? Esta, esta pregunta. Sí, sí. Oh, sí. Ok. Tell me something about yourself. Always they start with that. Yes, it's the first question, right? Always. Yeah. Yes, good. Actually, good. I was using that for these des descriptions. Ah, okay. This exercise, yes. Very good. So now, see, you, you, it, it will help you uh, with this, you know. So um, what I used to do is, um, well, uh, lo he hecho varias veces. He dado clases de curso para preparación de call center. So, um, one of the things that I like to work on is fluency. Es lo que ellos buscan, fluency. Uh, but if you have grammar, if you have vocabulary, then you need thought organization. Okay. And then, uh, si tenés ese tercer elemento, thought organization, that's it, you, you got it. Okay, I guess it's right. the hardest thing. It's the hardest thing, yes, yes. Pero ya después que tú tienes como grammar basis and then you have vocabulary basis, the next thing is, este es el último, ¿verdad? That you need to work. No puedes empezar acá, de thought organization, si no tienes grammar y vocabulary. Okay. All right, very good. We're going to go back to the meeting. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
Okay, very good. We're back. Okay. Okay. Very good. So the the video was very good. I I, I got the I got a lot of vocabulary from the video, right? So remember what we talked about yesterday. Uh, how can I speak more fluent? How can I have more fluency? Uh, you need to work on thought organization, right? Now, si es un nivel básico, like it's basic students, yo no empezaría con thought organization. Yo empezaría con vocabulary and grammar, okay? En esa orden, vocabulary and then grammar, okay? Now, the last thing is thought organization, okay? Para el nivel de ustedes, un nivel ya eh, intermedio, alto, avanzado, eh, entonces, thought organization is very good, it's very important, right? So, uh, remember the, the square that I use, right? Lo, el que estábamos usando. Mm. Uh, the, the square that we were using. This is a tool that you can use for thought organization, right? Um, hay muchos linking words. ¿Verdad? Aquí yo solo saqué unos cuantos. Uh, hay linking words que son numéricos. For example, first, second, third, fourth. Finally, okay. Uh, those are good when you're given instructions how to cook something, how to make something. Okay. Now, this, the one that I use today, se puede adaptar a otras cosas, a otras, eh, otros scenarios. Sí, claro, verdad. Eh, por ejemplo, si alguien me pregunta, tell me about El Salvador. Tell me about the country. Well, first of all, uh, we have many beaches. We have beautiful beaches. We have um, a lot of rivers and mountains. Uh, we have cold weather, etc. Also, we have um, a lot of uh, tourism. For example, coffee. A lot of people like to visit the coffee plants. Uh, we have tourism in the mountains, in Chalatenango, etc. Besides that, um, also we have very nice people. People are very friendly. Uh, finally, our typical food is pupusas, etc. Right? So, yo lo puedo adaptar a cualquier cosa. Especialmente ese tipo de preguntas de... Eh, de, de trabajo, ¿verdad? Preguntas de trabajo que nos hacen. Tell me about yourself. Okay. Where do you see yourself in five years? Okay. What are your strengths? ¿Cuáles son tus fortalezas? What are your weaknesses? ¿Cuáles son tus debilidades? So we can use it for those type of things too. Okay. So eh, this is for thought organization, okay? Very good. So, esta, esto es lo que van a hacer de tarea. Esto no está en la, en la plataforma. Es algo que ustedes pueden, pueden hacer si quieren. ¿Ok? No es algo que es obligatorio, pero pueden ir a esta página que se llama Bacarú. Bacarú simplemente, no sé si la han usado, lo que han usado aquí la plataforma de inglés corporativo, ya han usado esta. Es simplemente donde pueden grabar su voz, ¿ok? So, entonces van a la página, no necesitan instalar nada, descargar nada, sino que simplemente denle play. Hello, my name is Carlos. I will tell you about myself. I am a creative person. I am uh, very easygoing. Besides that, I'm also friendly, whatever, ¿ok? Y le dan play. Okay. No, no sé por, por qué se escucha así ahorita, no sé, tal vez la interferencia que tengo ahorita. Voy a alejar mi teléfono. <ríe> eh, ok, entonces pueden grabar eso. Ok. Después ustedes le dan clic aquí donde dice Save and Share. Ok. Y ya tienen el link. Pueden copiar el link y ponerlo en el grupo de WhatsApp. Y yo, así yo puedo escucharlos a ustedes y les puedo dar un, un poquito de feedback, ¿ok? Ustedes mismos se pueden escuchar para 
probar su propia fluidez. ¿Ok? Eh, es algo que pueden hacer. Es totalmente eh, voluntario. ¿Ok? Very good. Excellent. Questions? ¿Ok? Para tarea, we can finish section one and we can record the audio in Vocaru. Eh, lo que, la página donde les acabo de mostrar sobre el tema de que, que acabamos de hacer aquí basado en el video tell me about your personality ok very good questions preguntas Everything is correct. ah Fernando perdón no te escuché ok everything is clear everything is clear ok Perfect. So, eh, terminen, terminen la sección 1. Eh, si ya hicieron eso, pues estudien el video otra vez que vimos, el 2.1, y, y graben su voz ahí en Bocaru. All right. Okay. Very good. Okay. All right. I'll see you tomorrow then. Okay. 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 Thank you. Tomorrow. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye, everyone.